taking care of business with Cat Paz. Have you, um, oh, I know I've had a few weird meetings this week. <laughs> uh, you know, when you've just met somebody and you think, wow, you could be really useful for my business or a great client. You go out for a coffee or something. It's a bit like a first date and you want to get the message across about your business. But, you know, they just talk about theirs and mm. you don't want to come across too pushy, yada, mm. yada. So Cat Paz is here to give some top tips on how to make an effective first contact. Oh, awesome. Yes. Um, first contact is really important in the sense that it, it's, it kind of showcases who you are and in your business as well. And you're right. Some of them are awesome meetings like there's some strong synergies. So you just chat, 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 and you don't actually get to the point of the meeting. That, that's a problem in itself when you, when you hit it off with somebody and you just talk. And yeah. You, you know, I've had better business meetings than dates. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, that was ages ago. But um, yeah, so really with meetings, you have to set the scene. So don't go to a very busy cafe. So lunch times, as much as people say lunch is great, they're pretty much very busy. So before lunch, after lunch. So I, I would go maybe 10-ish, 11, or after 2. And that will ensure that at least it's not as noisy in terms of the buzz. And also make sure those cafes don't play super loud music, because some of them do, if you have to meet at cafes. Ideally, is finding a very quiet office space, because that's a great idea for meetings. And... And that way you can actually have some sort of way of keeping the conversation going because you get distracted by people. Yeah. And um, also it keeps you, I guess it keeps your mind on what you're there for, which yes. is to business. It is business. Exactly. You can meet at uh, people's houses, for example, but some people find that very uncomfortable. Um, I guess business people are quite messy like me. Uh, so I wouldn't meet anyone at my house. But... The other option is if you have that office space, then book it out, use it, or you can look at, you know, those places that are the co-working places where you can hire it out. Some of them are about 30 to $50 for the day, and you can book that out, and you can still have a great discussion during that day. Uh, one important tip I would have is an agenda. Now, it sounds like a board meeting for not-for-profit. Not really. It's just writing down what you're going to talk about, and actually communicate that agenda. If you're the one driving the meeting, communicate that to the person you've called to have a meeting with. So it could start with, so I'm going to talk a little bit about me, if, especially if, if it's the first time that they've met you, and then I'm going to, so you start the talking, but then you end up with them talking. So then you just tell them, so I, I'll talk about me, I'll talk about why I do what I do, and then we'll talk about you. And that way you can keep crossing out the agenda, and it's almost kind of imprinted in everyone's mind what needs to happen and you almost know straight away when you when you just need to keep going and stop the conversation absolutely yeah. and some people you know you don't uh get along with when you're speaking with them you think oh you're a bit odd but your business <laughs> could still be useful for me and you kind of forget that bit if people ramble on about other stuff yes yeah um I, well, I tend to do that, and that's a higher level, and I call it personality pegging. So some people are huge chitter-chatters, and other people are super quiet. They're, they're yes-no, gruffly answer type people. So when you peg a personality, it, you can then know the type of flow you need to bring into it. You can then know if it's, if it's okay for you to talk more than, than the prospects that you're talking to. Um, I read a great book. It was called Personality Plus, and I laughed my head off. It was the best book ever. It described why my siblings think I'm so dominant and loud and I don't take stuff too easily. And when you know that type of person, you know how you communicate with them. You know if that person expects text messages, reminders. You know, there's the dot your, your I's, cross your T's type people. They tend to be very forgetful as well. And that's purely because they want to make sure something's right. And there's nothing wrong with that because everyone's got their pluses and minuses. And those ones need a text message at least three days before. See, this sounds like a whole. That sounds it's a that, whole that's a whole. Other. That's a different show. We're going to do that. Yeah. The personality types and how to deal with them are really interesting. But I'll getting, get you an expert on that. Yeah, <laughs> getting back to meetings. So you know, have an agenda. Have somewhere that's quiet, mm -hmm. and whether that's an office or a cafe at a real at a good time. Yes. Um, now, I had someone that called me and said that we had a great meeting, but you forgot to tell me about referrals and how I can refer people to you and that. Yes. 
Okay, so that part is really important towards the end of the meeting. If you think things are great, it's just a segue of, do you know anyone else who could benefit from this? That's a great line. And then they'll let you know who it is and maybe pass on the details. And it kind of reinforces why they came to you in the first place. And it's almost like a a shadowy type of feedback for you. So no sometimes doesn't mean no. They could run into someone later. Absolutely. And mm. also that um, that referral, like I'm, you know, people that would be really great for my business are... Yes, exactly. Yeah. So I, you know, people that are great for my business are, and you describe them to the T, you know, families with kids. Some people in the financial industry say things like uh, they, they're paying tax of XXX or they have a mortgage because that's easy to peg someone that you know rather than just saying anyone because... <laughs> Anyone is no one. Yeah, yeah. And if you give a description, that will uh, trigger people's memory Mm -hmm. as well. So if this is you and you're trying to spruik your business, have your client in mind, your ideal client. Yes. And describe them, the people that you want to do business with, to your 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 new contact. I know it sounds like <laughs> you know, you're trying to find new dates already with your <laughs> with your, <laughs> your brand new business. You're getting me in trouble with my that, partner. <laughs> <laughs> with your with your brand new business contact, but that's not a bad thing and, and part of part of the business connecting is being able to connect other people. Yes, oh absolutely. We we are we can't be jack of all trades and my masters of none just stick to being the of the master of the thing that you enjoy the most and don't be afraid to share it with other people within your realm in a business sense because then you help each other so keep that conversation going it's really important but do the agenda I know meetings are hard mine was so hard initially but with time it gets easier and just be yourself because being uniquely you is more unapologetic than faking someone else because that feels really awful. What about, you know, when you're talking about your business mm-hmm. and you feel like a dodgy salesperson? Yes. How do you avoid doing that? How do you, yeah, how do you do that? To avoid doing that, just be yourself. Honestly, just use your your language. I did a I did a video where I said the word funk in my video and that's me and I had to translate that. <laughs> I had to put that in there. But, you know, at least I got my point across because the thing about faking someone else or that that salesman icky feeling is it doesn't resonate with you. And guess who you end up attracting? People that like that type of person. So if you're faking someone that you think you need to be or there's this persona you think you need to be, just drop it because there's people looking for people like you. You know, my former boss was really awesome. He used to say when I was getting annoyed about bookkeeping, he used to say scatty people hire scatty people. And that just pretty much also translates to the type of people you actually attract in your business. So you were saying because some people like people with the same energy, but you need to truly know within yourself if you get along. But it doesn't help if you're being someone else. Yes, mm. be true to yourself. Mm. Yeah, and then you don't feel like a salesman and, oh, everybody wins. Yes. Excellent. Now, um, let's talk about, if you want to hear more about, or, you know, if, you, if you're driving and can't take notes and all this kind of stuff, we're going to start a little Facebook page yes, absolutely. for taking care of business. So we're going to post relevant things about what we've spoken about on the show mm-hmm. on Monday. And, you know, if you want to send us a message, if you've got some great ideas about what you want to know more about, small business, even big business, or how you can work more effectively, we'd love to hear from them. And there's no such thing as a silly question. Hmm. So a lot of people go, I know this is a silly question. It's not if you have to ask. Yeah. Yeah. It's obviously not, it's obviously not obvious. No. (laughs) (laughs) Just someone, or it just needs some clarification. So um, we're going to, we're going to start putting all this information out there. So if you miss anything, if you're driving along, then there'll be a a central place for you to find it. Thanks so much for coming in today, Kat. Awesome. Thank you. It's been great. Now we can all go and have effective meetings. Absolutely. I'm going to. Like, you know, and seeing as effective meetings are all about building your team, let's try some team sports with our trees. Oh, awesome. Yeah, okay, cool. You're tuned into The Mag with Jane.